neighbors, friends, and honored guests. We have so many dignitaries and distinguished guests here tonight with us that I'd like to acknowledge them right now. Um, thank you to Congressman Albio Series for coming out tonight. We appreciate it. Mayor Richard Turner of Weehawken, Mayor Tim Doherty of Morristown, Mayor Michael Soriano of Parsippany. Is he present? Sick. He's sick. So we have uh, his chief of staff, Matt Clark, and representing uh, Mayor Soriano. Uh, Mayor-elect uh, Jason Carr of Marsh Plains. Committee, Matt, co committee woman Amalia Duarte of Menden Township. Councilman Thad Kobolars of Chatham Borough. Chip Robinson, chair of the Morris County Democratic Committee. Uh, Council President Toshiba Foster of Morristown. Councilwoman Hillary Davis of Morristown. Councilman Stephen Armington of Morristown. Councilman Robert Ina Cohen from Morristown. Councilwoman Allison Dee from Morristown. Councilman David Silva from Morristown. Councilman Michael wow. Ellis from Morristown. Uh, we have Assemblyman uh, Anthony Bucco with us tonight. Thank you, Assemblyman Bucco, for coming out. Uh, Tom Luby is here, uh, representing Assemblyman uh, Michael Carroll. Uh, Senator Bucco is here as well. Senator, thank you for coming. Uh, we have Rick Watson, former uh, mayor of Morris Township. Uh, Ray Snyder, former committee man of Morris Township. Uh, Dan Caffrey, former committee man of Morris Township. Awesome. Yes, and is, I'm not sure if Jill Calvin only made it out here tonight, uh, Chairman of the Morris Township uh, Democrat, uh, Republican Committee, and we have, uh, we have George Quillen, Chair of the Morris Township Democratic Committee. So thank you everybody for coming out tonight. And I, I always hate naming names because I fear that I'm going to leave somebody out, so did I leave anybody out here sh who should be recognized? Please let me know. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks everybody for coming tonight. Uh, so let me start out by simply saying, wow, <laughs> this day is here. Uh, this has been a long time coming and quite a journey. And thankfully, the king of recounts did not have one this year. <laughs> uh, two people who have been nearby throughout my entire trip have been Noelle Robinson and Chip Robinson. Noelle's been living in Morris Township for 33 years, and her son Chip was born here and raised here. And I am honored to have them both square me in tonight. Thank you both for your help and your guidance through all these years. My family has also been at my side through this journey. Both my boys used to be my designated doorbell ringers when I first started on my early campaigns, which made things much easier when a resident was holding a piece of literature as I walked up their walkway and ready for my handshake. Um, my oldest son is 17 now and going off to college soon, and needless to say, as teenagers, they let it be known to me that they were done ringing doorbells. <laughs> I was on my own this year. <laughs> but thank you, Lynn, Jacob, and Alex for being at my side through this journey as well. And I'm blessed to have both my parents healthy and still very much a part of my life. Uh, my two teenage boys don't like to take much advice from their father, but I want to let them know that I would not be in this position today if my parents had not positioned me to do something like this in my life. So I'm very lucky to have them here with us at this momentum occasion. Thank you, Mom and Dad. So I am also honored to take the center seat as mayor of this great town in 2019. I have waited a long time to sit here, and now I have shown that persistence can lead you to your goals. I am grateful to the public for again electing me to the Township Committee I promise our residents that I will try my hardest to implement the government values and the governing values I have campaigned on. This will be my third time on the Township Committee, being a steward of the public's trust. And I've learned much in these previous six years on the committee, and now I am ready to lead our municipality as mayor. I believe in the saying that you can't know where you're going if you don't know where you've come. And I've learned a tremendous amount during my two, two prior terms here, which included a lot of institutional knowledge gleaned from my predecessors. I've had the privilege of serving with many long-serving committee men and committee women that had a lot of experience and knowledge. During my first term, I served with Kathleen Highland, Rick Watson, Bob Nace, and Scott Rosenbush, all of whom had the title of mayor multiple times during the years of service. I learned from all of them. And more recently, I have served with Mayor Emeritus Peter Mankiso, who has already helped me as, and guided me through some of my new responsibilities. I must add, though, that it is ironic and unfortunate that the person I learned the most from also chose to kick me when I was down after having lost my last election. Those of you who were here at this reorganization meeting several years ago 
recall the harsh words. So I'm hopeful that Scott Rosenbush will be watching this meeting after it's posted on YouTube. Thanks to Deputy Mayor Kathy Wilson and all her work to get the meetings up on YouTube. So Scott can hear the great things that we have planned for our town in the coming year. We are so lucky to live in a town that is so well run. Our administration and our employees do a great job. Business Administrator Tim Quinn runs a very efficient operation here at Town Hall. I see him as a combination of a captain steering a ship as well as a mechanic that keeps the machine well oiled. We're lucky to have him. Our attorney, John Mills, has given us good guidance through the years, always showing the utmost respect for me and everyone who deals with him. And I very much look forward to his continued counsel this year. Thank you, John. And all our department heads here have to be commended for the jobs they do on a day-to-day -day basis to provide the quality services our residents have come to expect. Our residents can be assured that they will see no changes in the day-to-day -day operations of our town. However, as I met with residents all over town this past year, it's clear that residents do want to see change in the way that we do things on several fronts. And these include communication, overdevelopment, traffic and speeding, and more shared services to help us reduce costs. Fellow residents, we have heard you loud and clear, and I can tell you that this township committee will be addressing those concerns this year. From day one, when I started my first campaign, I spoke about open government. To me, that is more than just communication with our residents, which we will do. It's also about seeking out resident input when we have tough decisions to make. That is true open government, and we are going to do that as well. Our goal is to set a new gold standard in the way the municipality communicates with its residents and seeks their input prior to making big decisions. At our January 16th meeting, we will lay out the elements of a new communications plan, and you will get a preview of that tonight from Deputy Mayor Kathy Wilson. This plan includes televising Township Committee meetings on cable TV and opening up these monthly meetings to provide more detailed explanations.